Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to Delisa's Life Dance, the channel where you can go search the journey within you. And um, alongside of being with me on my own journey through this life dance. And I just want to welcome you in and let you know that today I'll be speaking about spirit. And I'm going to give you three keys to how to get in contact with one's own spirit, with your own spirit. And then um, the first key is breathing. So I, I have been taught by my mentors and I've realized all these years that breathing is key. So you have to take it. Why don't you all just take a deep breath in with me now and blow it out. It clears the mind. So if you take a deep breath in and blow it out, that will bring clarity. So clarity is the first way that you can connect with your inner spirit. Be clear. And once you have that clarity, then put out your intention. What do you intend for your life? Write your goals down. If it's written down and you read it, it solidifies your learning. So write down your goals. Write it down to yourself and claim it. Once you claim it, it will surely become reality. I've done this in my life. I've actually done it on a call that we had last, this past Sunday, a conference call where I had to actually be in two places at once. And I wasn't really sure if I would make the call and it was very important to me with my own personal development. What did I do ahead of that call? I wrote it down. I said, I'll be available for that call. It, I'm going to claim it. So claiming it, putting that intention out there. The more you do it, the more that you see that it will be within you, a connection within. It's my little doggy back there, Zuri. <laughs> and that'd be a connection in, within you. So breathing clears the mind. So clear the mind, set your intention. And then the third way to connect with your spirit is just let yourself fly. Whatever that may be, let yourself fly. You, what I do, I'm a dancer and I've always called it my God spot. When I let myself fly, when I let myself let go and be one with what's going on around me, whether that be exercising, walking, reading, just let yourself go. Just let it go. <laughs> Those are the ways to connect with your spirit. And you will see things change around you. You might see little changes happening from time to time. And you may see, um, wonder, why did this happen to me right now? Because you were in that space. You were in that space of letting go. And so because you let go, more space, there was room to allow more to come into your life. So please clear your mind, set your intention, and let it fly, let things just go. And you will be in connection with spirit. And that's three ways. There are many more ways that I, many more little ways that I uh, work in my life to uh, enable myself to remain a positive influence on others and a positive influence on myself. There are many other ways to do it. Surrounding yourself with like-minded people, that's another way. So, you know, and there's several more. So these are the first three. I'll come up with three more for the next spirit day, <laughs> spiritual awakening day on Delisa's Life Dance, where we we talk about mind, body, and spirit on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays for now until I get it together and able to come to you every day. I've had a few little challenges. I've posted my Wednesday a little bit on the late side. I had a, a class to go to in Oakland um, for grant writing. But back to right now. In this moment, we're talking about spirit and how to connect with your spirit and connecting with your spirit in three ways. That's one, clearing the mind, breathing, clear your mind. Two, set your intention. Be aware of what you want, write it down, read it back, do it several times, get in the mirror and do it. And three, let it go, let it fly. If you're dancing, if you're working out, just keep it, keep the pressure on. 
and then let it fly. You'll find yourself in another space. People have told me that, Delisa, when I see you dancing with Chinukari, when I see you and Julia and Marsha and Casey and Gana Guy, when I see everybody up on the stage dancing, it's like, wow, you're in another place. Guess what? We are in another place. Spirit has taken us there. So I invite you to look at some of our dancing moves. I invite you to come to our shows, the Chinukari Ensemble, www.chinukari.com, and check us out. Julia Titsi Chigamba and the crew, Ronnie Dalio, Russ Landers, Sarah Knoll, many more. We are opening ourselves up to spirit every time we perform. That's what it is. These are the people of Zimbabwe. And this is, this is a main connection of how they do things and how struggles come across and how struggles have been broken through. So I thank my sisters and brothers, the Shona people, the Ndebele people, all people of the continents and the diaspora of Africa. I, I just say thank you and I really appreciate all that all of our ancestors have done to make and preserve the music and dance of the cultures that are among us. Um, so I just wanna say that's a connection in spirit today. Three keys, three ways to connect to your spirit. And that's breathing, setting your intention, writing it down, and then wherever you are, letting it fly. Just be one with it. Enjoy yourselves. Because what? Life is a dance. <laughs> Delisa's life dance. So if you enjoyed anything that I talked about today, you can hit, hit the like button. Please subscribe. Subscribe because I need subscribers and hit the bell notification because then you'll know when I'm on. So thanks everyone. I'm having a wonderful time exploring YouTube and connecting with people that I don't see on a regular basis. And it's another way that I can connect to people that I do see on a regular basis. They'll see me in another way, uh, bringing you different tips and insights and bringing you motivational speaking and bringing you vibration and just lifting your vibe if you're not having a good moment just listen to me because i'm gonna have my good moments because i'm here and i am not letting go of those moments and i love my life right now and i love the people that are in it and don't get me wrong there are some struggles but it's what you do when those struggles come how do you get through it's with connection with your spirit i have to breathe I have to write down what my intentions are. I'm going to make that class. I'm, I'm going to be right there. Their space will open up and that will happen. It's also, we are going to let it fly. When we're in that moment, just go with it. Keep the pressure up and let it fly. I love you, everyone. This is Delisa Life, Delisa's Life Dance. And I'll be talking to you again very, very soon. Watch out, Mindset Mondays are coming. It's coming up. Ciao.